In this paper, we are interested in meta-learning more general-purpose learning algorithms. To that end, we introduce symmetries to a meta-recurrent neural network. Let's start with the problem statement. What is general-purpose meta-learning? Current learning algorithm design is mainly driven by human research. Instead of searching for the right inductive biases for learning algorithms ourselves, we want to drive advancements in RL via meta-learning. Just like human-engineered learning algorithms, the meta-learned algorithms have to be reusable across a wide range of environments or tasks. When training on a collection of environments, the learning algorithm should generalize to a very different environment. Previous work on this issue in the context of RL has represented learning algorithms using parameterized objective functions. Meta-learning will then correspond to optimizing over these meta-parameters to discover novel learning algorithms. The discovered learning algorithms turned out to be quite general purpose but still rely on backpropagation and gradient descent. In contrast, one of the most simple meta-learners to date are meta-recurrent neural networks. They learn purely in their activations without relying on backpropagation and gradient descent. A simple RNN can implement a learning algorithm in its parameters data. The crucial ingredient is to add a feedback signal, such as the reward in RL, to the RNN inputs. This allows for learning to happen based on that feedback signal in the activations. During meta-training, we would then update these RNN parameters to maximize the return. Meta-testing holds the parameters fixed and purely unrolls the RNN forward. This gives us a simple framework to meta-learn new learning algorithms. Unfortunately, generalization to significantly different tasks and environments is dif difficult. Let's compare these two mentioned approaches, backprop-based learning on one side and blackbox learning on the other. The former leverages known optimization techniques, but also imports its biases. The latter is potentially more expressive in terms of representable learning algorithms and may allow the discovery of novel ways of doing credit assignment, but it does not generalize very well. In this paper, we investigate what lies in between. The backprop-based methods exhibit certain symmetries that we want to make use of in blackbox methods, such as a symmetric learning rule that is reused across the neural network, flexible input and output and architecture sizes, and an invariance to input and output permutations. We call our approach symmetric learning agents. Similar consists of many small parameter shared LSTMs passing messages to each other. We are given a neural network that is fed observations and produces actions. In place of standard weights, we use parameter shared LSTMs. These LSTMs pass messages along the edges of this neural network. The messages are multidimensional and are passed in the forward direction, but also in the backward direction, to allow for credit assignment throughout the network based on the reward. Similla induces invariance to input and output permutations and sizes. We first demonstrate this on a banded task with varying numbers of arms. When meta-training on a banded with 8 arms, the discovered learning algorithm can also be applied to 12 arms resizing the architecture at meta-test time by adding more LSTMs but using the same LSTM parameters. The cumulative regret is similar to the within distribution case. Thus, similar generalizes to unseen numbers of arms. We can also modify the observation space. Given an environment such as this card poll, we shuffle both the observations and actions at meta-test time. When running similar on the shuffled environment, we observe that it does well compared to the meta rnn this is because similar is invariant to permutations. Similar also generalizes to unseen tasks. We meta-train on environments where a player has to collect rewards while avoiding traps. We then switch the rewards at meta-test time, making traps desirable and hard to avoid. We observe that similar still increases its reward intake, while the meta rnn has overfit to always collecting hearts. Simla learns at meta-test time about observations, actions, and their rewards. We also performed experiments where we meta-train on a grid world environment and then generalized to Carlpo. Simla still performs learning, increasing the rewards over time, while meta rnns are close to a random policy. Thus, Simla can also generalize to different environments. Please feel free to reach out and join us in the poster session. Thank you.